Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about Bill Ackman, a man who made an incredible $2.6 billion in just under a month during the COVID-19 pandemic. In this video, we'll take a closer look at a trade that some are calling the greatest of all time. You can decide for yourself if it lives up to that title, but it's hard to deny the impressive returns of making 1,000 times your money in just 30 days. Before we dive into the details of the trade, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's take a look at the trade that's making headlines. For those who may not know, Bill Ackman is a successful entrepreneur and investor. He's been in the business world for many years and has a reputation for making smart financial decisions. So when the COVID-19 pandemic hit and the economy took a turn for the worse, many people were wondering how Ackman would fare. During the COVID-19 pandemic most Americans are stuck at home avoiding the coronavirus. Bill Ackman experienced significant financial success, earning billions of dollars during the pandemic. How did he do it? How did Ackman's big short position differ from the famous one made by hedge fund manager Michael Burry, who was featured in the book and movie The Big Short in 2015? There is a key difference between Ackman's big short and Burry's. While Burry began shorting mortgage bonds in 2005, it wasn't until 2007 that he realized his profits. This was a significant issue for investors as the fund lost 18% of its value in 2006. The position was such a drain on liquidity that if Burry's other assets remained flat, his fund would lose 8% per year. As a result, clients started withdrawing their money, and Burry had to reduce his position by almost two-thirds. To mitigate the risk of having to sell the position at a huge loss, he implemented drastic measures and suspended all client withdrawals. Even with these measures, if the bet didn't pay off in 2007 and the mortgage market didn't collapse until several years later, Burry could have lost everything. Fortunately for Burry, his bet did pay off in 2007 and he was able to sell his position for a huge profit. Now imagine Bill Ackman's trade, which was almost identical to Burry's, except it took just 30 days to pay off instead of the two years it took Burry. It's easy to see why some are calling Ackman's trade the greatest of all time. How did Bill Ackman achieve such a quick payoff? Let's examine the details of the big short number two. In February 2021, Bill Ackman became increasingly concerned that the market was about to crash because of the coronavirus. He said, when I did the math I said you know the laws of probability tell me this thing is going to be everywhere everyone 50% of the world is going to get infected and I sort of rolled this thing forward and I said it's just it's just a matter of time. Initially, Ackman was so nervous that he considered liquidating all his assets and going 100% into cash. However, he eventually came up with a plan to protect his portfolio without selling his stocks. On March 3rd, he updated investors with an ominous message, saying, During the past 10 days we have taken steps to protect the portfolio from downward market volatility. We have done so because we believe that efforts to contain the coronavirus are likely to have a substantial negative impact on the US and global economies and on the equity and credit markets. Like Burry, Ackman used credit default swaps to make money from his trade. These swaps are a safer way to bet on defaults of bonds and, in reality, the trader is actually going long in the position, even though the trade is referred to as a short. Essentially, as Warren Buffett says, you are buying insurance on a home but you don't own the home so you actually just hope it burns down. If the asset doesn't decline in value, the trader only risks losing the insurance premiums paid. In contrast to a typical short position, which has unlimited losses if the asset keeps going up in value, credit default swaps protect against downside risk. Bill Ackman used credit default swaps as his preferred tool to bet against the market. While Burry bet against mortgage bonds, Ackman focused on corporate bonds which were trading at historically low yields, 
indicating that the market viewed them as the safest they had ever been. Corporate bond insurance was also at historic lows, at only 50 basis points or 0.5%. Given the impact of the virus, Ackman believed that the price of insurance would increase from 50 basis points to a higher number. According to person familiar with the trade, Bill Ackman's hedge fund, Pershing Square, built up a position in credit default swaps, CDS, on $50 billion of U.S. investment-grade debt, a $18.5 billion position in the equivalent European index, and a $2.5 billion notional exposure to Europe's high-yield debt. These policies typically have a five-year duration. In early March, as the implications of the coronavirus pandemic became clearer and it became evident that entire industries, including airlines, travel, and hospitality, would essentially shut down for an unknown period. In the short time, the cost of insuring debt quadrupled. Unfortunately, Ackman had to weather huge swings in the value of Pershing Square's CDS position as markets fluctuated wildly as well as a potential $485 million yearly premium if he was forced to hold on to the position for longer than anticipated. On March 13, for example, the S&P 500 rose 10% in a day, leading to a $800 million drop in the value of Pershing Square's contracts. In order to avoid alarming the market, Ackman began selling as quickly as possible and ultimately booked a $2.6 billion profit from offloading the insurance policies. In an update letter on March 25, Bill Ackman stated that he paid only $27 million for credit protection. However, what he did not explicitly mention is that this $27 million has to be paid monthly for five years, which amounts to $485 million per year. If the bet did not pay off within a year, Ackman would lose 6% of all his funds, or $485 million, just on this one position. He is part of a trade that has the potential to inspire a movie and could be considered one of the greatest trades of all time. Please let us know in the comments which trade you believe was superior. Ackman's trade may have looked better on paper, but Burry conducted much more research. Ackman's bet, on the other hand, relied mainly on his strong intuition. Ackman also gained attention to an impassioned statement he made during a CNBC appearance on March 18, in which he gave a particularly dire warning about the effects of the virus. Ackman warned that if the economy was not immediately shut down, millions of Americans could potentially die. Many people on social media blamed Ackman for adding to the downturn in the market. Ackman quickly began expressing remorse for his actions. He issued a statement on Twitter explaining that his comments had been misconstrued and that he actually meant for people to buy stocks, not sell them. Ackman also mentioned that most of his short bets had been sold prior to his television appearance, so it could not have been his intention to profit from causing further panic. One of the main issues with Ackman's public image is that he appears to be thriving at a time when many Americans are struggling. It seems that Ackman was able to capitalize on the market fluctuations caused by the pandemic. He made strategic investments in companies that were able to thrive during the crisis, such as those in the technology and healthcare sectors. In addition to his business savvy, Ackman also attributes his success to his ability to stay calm and focused during a time of uncertainty. He has said that he didn't let the fear and panic of the pandemic affect his decision-making, and instead focused on finding opportunities and making calculated risks. So, what can we learn from Bill Ackman's experience during the coronavirus pandemic? It's clear that with the right mindset and approach, it's possible to find success even in the most difficult of circumstances. It's also important to stay informed and adapt to changes in the market, as well as being willing to take calculated risks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more business and financial insights.